begin the warm up with rotating our shoulders 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 
salutations. We all are going to perform six sun salutations. I am going to count and do it with you. And three, two, one, and start. One, two, three, four, Spread your arms and 
we are going to cross the arms over each other alternating them and we are going to perform 20 counts okay so 1 2 3 4 cross and spread 5 6 7 8 9 don't let your shoulders come up closer to your ears 11 12 13 14 15 keep pulling your navel in core tight 17 18 19 and 20 and relax elbow plank we are going to hold the elbow plank for a minute so i am going to hold it for a minute so you can do it with me and hold it as long as you can if you can hold it for a minute well done and i am going to start the timer position 3 2 1 and start Keep exhaling, keep breathing, keep your toe, core tight and do not let your lower back sink like this or don't go like this. Keep it, hold the plank position and you are halfway there, 30 seconds over. Keep exhaling, keep pulling your navel in and 40. It's going to get harder, but stay there. Stay there, don't quit 50. Last 10 seconds. Well done. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Get your knees down. And well done. Let us begin with nice stretches. I would suggest you remove your shoes if you are wear, if you are wearing the shoes for your workout and sit in sukhasan that is cross leg position but if you are not comfortable sitting in a cross leg position and if your position becomes like this then I would suggest that you sit on a raised platform so if you are sitting, if your hips are little raised, then you will be able to sit comfortably in a cross leg position. Or simply sit in Dandasan or an L seat, which is this. Again, in an L seat, if you cannot keep your back straight, then you can again use a raised platform. Okay, so I am sitting in Sukhasan. And I'm just going to start stretching my shoulders. As you stretch, you also need to start focusing on your breath. And also try to get your heart rate down and change. You can hold the stretch for as long as you wish. Interlace your fingers into each other. And stretch your arms up, palms facing the ceiling, pull your navel inwards, keep your sides, side trunk active. And in this position, imagine that you are lifting your lowest lumbar vertebra up towards the ceiling. You can also visualize that someone is pulling you with a string that is attached to the crown of your head and you are getting pulled towards the ceiling from your spine so don't let your shoulders go like this towards your ears shoulders are dropped down away from your ears and you are lifting yourself from your spine inhale exhale and bend forward keep your back straight and chin up and then keep your palms on the floor and stretch your back. You are going to keep your back straight as long as you can. I am going to show it to you sideways so you know what I mean by keeping the back straight. I am 
stretching my arms up. What can happen is when I say bend forward, you could bend forward like this using your thoracic spine from this uh, position. What I want you to do is imagine that you are bending forward from the lowest lumbar vertebra. So your back is straight, your chin is up and bend forward. You can loosen your cross leg position. Do not lift your hips up. We are not going like this. Keep your hips pressed into the mat or the floor. Keep your back straight and then walk ahead on your fingers like this and stretch your back and then walk back on your arms. So that was for your arms and for your back and now lie down on the mat on your back. Keep your legs straight. And we are going to do Ardha Pavan Muktasan. Half Vindalese pose. For that, fold your left leg at the knee joint. Your knee comes towards your chest. Use both the hands to pull that knee towards your chest. Hold it for a while. Keep breathing. Change. And release. And now we will do Pavan Muktasana wind release pose. For that, fold both the legs at the knee joint. Get your knees towards your chest. Circle your knees with your hands. Interlace your fingers over your knees and pull the knees towards your chest. Now you are going to lift your neck up and your chin is going to go towards your knees. Hold this position as long as you can, as long as you feel comfortable. And then slowly neck down, release your hands Feet down and legs straight. So that is the end of today's workout.